Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can set up Gmail to automatically move specific emails to a folder. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. Setting up Gmail to automatically move emails to folders is quick to do, but for this guide, I'll take you through what you need to do in two separate steps. Your best friend when setting up new automatic rules in Gmail is the search options filter. You can find this by clicking into the search box at the top of your inbox. And the filter panel can be opened by clicking on the search settings option on the right of that bar. The first page on the search filter asks you to simply decide how you want to identify the emails you want to move automatically to a folder. Gmail provides you with a number of different ways you can identify an email. The most common include the name of the email sender or a keyword or phrase that may be used in the email. You can even move emails to a separate folder based only on those emails that have an attachment, such as a photo or a document. For my rule, I'll use the sender's name, but you should choose the method that's right for you. You'll notice that when I add the sender's details, I'm using their full email address so that only those emails sent from that specific email address are moved. Once you're happy with how the emails will be identified and moved, move your mouse pointer to the bottom right of this panel. You'll see there are two options here. To create an automatic rule, I need to click on the Create Filter option to move on to the next page of this rule setup process. If you click on the blue search button, Gmail will only search and display those emails that match the email address I've entered above, which we don't want. The final page of the rule setup process is then shown. This is a page where you tell Gmail what to do with the emails that have been found using your search criteria. You'll see that Gmail lets you do lots of things automatically using rules. This includes things like automatically archiving or even deleting an email. If you're interested in how to do that, check out the Gmail guide shown above that explain how to do this. We only want to move emails to a folder however, so I'll start by moving my mouse pointer to the apply the label option on this page. Gmail doesn't use the concept of folders. In fact, you won't see folders mentioned anywhere in Gmail. This can be confusing initially, but all you need to remember is that when you see the word label, think folder. Gmail uses labels simply because labels can be more flexible than folders. So let's demonstrate how that works. I'll start by selecting the checkbox next to this option. And if I move to the right of that row, the option to choose a label is shown. If I click on the drop down arrow next to that, a list of all my current labels or folders is shown. You can also add a new folder here as well. I'm going to select an existing folder I want to automatically move emails to by simply clicking on it once. Before creating this automatic filter, there is one more thing you should consider doing. If I move to the bottom of this panel, you'll see there's an option to apply the filter to some matching conversations. This means Gmail has already found some emails from the person I want to automatically move emails for and is asking me whether I want to move them to the folder I've selected as well. I'll confirm that I want to do that by clicking on the checkbox next to that option. And to finally set up that automatic rule, all that's remaining to do is to click on the large blue Create Filter button. Gmail then confirms that a filter or automatic rule has been created. And if I now pop into the folder I chose in the rule setup process, you'll see that the emails identified have been moved to it. Any new emails received that match the search criteria you set up originally will also now be automatically added to this folder in the future. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.